So guys, uh, I did some more cleaning uh, off camera. Uh, cleaned out this uh, area here and uh, also inside, which you cannot see of course. Uh, here's the gasket, so basically it's ready to go back onto the car. Uh, it, or the best course of action is to take off the intake and the surrounding bits as much as we can to clean up the, the area here. We'll wait a little bit when draining the, the coolant there. But uh, I think this is the best way because uh, I have all the gaskets here anyways, so might as well uh, remove everything from here uh, as much as we can and clean up as much as we can and uh, paint what we can uh, make it as nice as possible without uh, taking this uh, engine out. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's continue here, let's uh, take off uh, this intake and we'll take it from there. So let's do it. So finally guys, we managed to take off the intake, uh, it looks really good, uh, it was a little bit fiddly, a little bit messy, we made good progress, I don't think that the, these, uh, the, this gasket is original, or maybe it is actually, I think it's somebody um, put original gasket together with the, some sealant, RTV or whatever. I will try to get this wiring out of the way, so we will get uh, better access to the engine block and uh, we will give it a good clean and we will plug up the intake port so nothing gets inside. Um, other than that, it's uh, nice and good, uh, nice and good, so I'm quite happy how it turned out. There's no major issues. Uh, we also took out the, the pipe, uh, the crank ventilation uh, pipe, the exhaust vent, which we have here and uh, yeah, it's in better days. What I will do next guys is I will try to get rid of this uh, wiring uh, and, or not get rid of it but move it out of the way so I have a better access to the engine block. So the only thing that is holding it right now is the generator cable over there and uh, then, uh, this will allow us to move it on the side here uh, so that's what I'm going to do now.
quick update guys so i have managed to plug in the the ports uh, in the ports and i think it's in there once we start working here uh, drained most of the coolant uh, as we can see there's plenty of space to work now on the block and uh, took off the bracket for the alternator and the alternator took off the starter and uh, we'll uh, go and have a look at it later and uh, took off the master brake cylinder and uh, we'll clean that up uh, took off the, the abs pump and uh, we'll see what we'll do with that and need to clean up here afterwards uh, as you can see there's a lot of stuff also down there <coughs> there's also some uh, surface rest going on here not not big deal we'll clean this up also other than that it looks really good um, so the plan I think is now to continue, uh, we will maybe afterwards take off the, the cooling system, but for now uh, I think we will go to the other side and take off the, yeah, the expansion tank and the screen uh, washing liquid reservoir uh, and we'll take it from there. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, keep up the pace. So guys, this uh, bloody filter is kicking my butt, cannot uh, take it off, uh, what is this, I don't know, <laughs> I couldn't take it off on the car and now I'm trying to do it off uh, the car and I'm struggling, <laughs> so let's continue and uh, I really hope I will manage to take this off. So I have managed to take off the butt cover, it was a pain in the butt, a lot of heating and then uh, just gently twisting and pulling uh, made it work. So that's out, we removed some of the hoses that we had here, there and there, just to give us more access. I'm still struggling with this pipe uh, for the dipstick, it's not coming out and yeah. Get this guys, I managed to take off this uh, bloody linkage. Um, I needed to take it off anyways because uh, I have decided to upgrade to power steering. I have already sourced a, a steering rack from E46 uh, with the purple tag, uh, which has a quicker ratio, lock to lock ratio. Um, and this to take off this uh, linkage was a pain. Uh, I used uh, this fork that's the only thing that actually worked. It was really, really tight on there. So now it's out of the way and we can move on with uh, with other things. I think I will leave this uh, this tube here for the dipstick uh, alone because it's pressed in all the way through the block. I can see it on the other side and uh, I, I'm sure it comes out, but I don't think there's any O-rings even uh, in the um, in the parts catalog there is nothing uh, there's no O-ring for this model. So, and I'm afraid that I will take it out and then I won't be able to like put it back in because I mean how I'm gonna do that I'm sure it's pressed in and yeah I'm just gonna leave it in and just clean it around and uh, yeah we will proceed now with the uh, cleaning the block uh, well cleaning will just uh, go with the wire wheel real quick and then uh, treat it with the rust converter and uh, give it a quick uh, coat of paint and uh, we'll move from there so uh, now everything is out of the way and uh, we can work nicely so let's uh, let's continue and uh, do exactly that
quick update guys so as you can see here we have cleaned up the block as best as we could uh, we wire wheeled it as best as we could we removed the both of the uh, what do you call it engine mounts uh, they're no longer there it's a bit sketchy how i supported there but it's not really going anywhere as it is uh, then we used some of the rust converter and uh, looking great uh, if i may say so myself now uh, what i have i have some paint so I have this uh, this uh, engine uh, bay paint, uh, motor lac, um, it's just some cheap stuff, nothing fancy, but I think it will it will do the job uh, just fine. So what we will do, we will uh, scuff it up uh, a little bit, uh, this uh, this block, both sides. Uh, we will mask everything off, uh, the head, the wires, the the engine bay itself, and uh, we'll give it a nice uh, coat of paint. So it looks uh, amazing. I'm quite uh, pleased with how this turned out. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's continue. And uh, as you can see here, I went through a tedious and boring uh, process of taping everything up here. So everything is taped up and uh, let's give it a coat of paint and uh, start putting things back together here. So. Uh, Look at this, and this turned out uh, really, really good. I'm very pleased uh, with the results, and uh, the paint job turned out really well. I'm excited. So uh, with that being said, this will be the end to this video, and uh, make sure to stay tuned for future videos. They're coming here really soon, where we will be taping off uh, some of this stuff and uh, continuing the works. So uh, have a nice one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.